of us who are Americans. I'm especially delighted to see so many Filipino Americans here. I know many of you have come a great distance to be in Washington. And I know it's probably a risky thing to generalize about a community. Can we call four million people a community? I think we can. But let me generalize at risk and say this is a community that has a reputation for being hardworking, patriotic, abiding of the law and traditions, and also being very good singers. I, I must say, I have never heard our and dancers too. Is there going to be dancing here tonight also? Uh, the way you belted out not just one but two national anthems was a source of pride for us all in the room. Uh, well done. There are many traditions, a lot of pomp and circumstance associated with the inauguration of a new president, and they will be on display tomorrow as they have been all week and through the weekend. However, what this is really all about is a singular and important aspect of our democracy, the US Constitution, which is the most enduring constitution in the world and the shortest constitution. And tomorrow, it will be a practice that dates back to 1789, following the election of our first head of state, President Washington. And that is the requirement of a constitutionally mandated oath of office that signals the start of a four-year term of a new administration. It will last about 30 seconds, but that oath to our Constitution and its principles is what our democracy is all about.